What's up, everybody? This is episode 8 of Sir Daniel's Quest for Black Belt. That's right, we're going from no belt to black belt. And this is your navigator, Sancho West, a.k.a. Hilltopper Sancho on the PlayStation Network. Trying to help a buddy out. Trying to help my main, main, my main, main, that's a lot of M's. My main, main, main guy, Sir Daniel, reach that belt. Right now, we're at the upper green belt. Trying to get to that purple belt. And trivia, if you guys want to know more about me, I was in Taekwondo. 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 Ha! I was in Taekwondo when I was a kid in the eighth grade as an after school program, and I built myself to that purple belt. That's right. I know about the forms, and uh, I don't know what happened to that purple belt. It was just for an after school program because my mama couldn't pick me up on time to go to school. So, that doesn't matter. We're going to have a good time here with Sir Daniel. Here in the Ratchet stage, I got the Dragon Armor on, going against Emo Dante, Sackboy, and Emo Dante. The reason why I call him Emo Dante, because he always looks so sad. No, I wish they would have gone with the other Dante, and you whiff, sir. You lose, sir. You missed. I wish they got with the other Dante. And speaking of guys with swords, they should have had Onimusha in this game. That's right. Onimusha would have been... Oh, goodness gracious. Mm-mm. I wish Onimusha was in this game because Onimusha is a baller with the samurai sword. If you have not played Onimusha, get your hands on a copy of Onimusha, please. Onimusha 1, 2, and 3. Uh, who wants to drink? Who wants some cookies? Oh, I got two out of that. I killed the Emo Dantes. Got both of them. Now, that's what I understand. Look, a lot of people are saying that they feel this game is a big marketing ploy, which I understand. Which you could see it that way as well. I mean, they won't release DLC characters unless a game was coming out for it. For example, Zeus was released because of God of War Ascension. That's cool. Boom! Sack boy got fluffy fluff. Plow! Small players could get killed with Sir Daniel's level 1 up against the wall. Oh no! Clever, clever, Emo Dante. As I was saying... It's a big marketing ploy for upcoming games, and a lot of people were, were like, well, that's why Tomb Raider is not in this game, Laura Croft, because they wanted Laura Croft in their own game first, and uh, we could have had some DLC with, with Laura Croft, and we could have had some DLC. There's a lot of coulda, woulda, shouldas here in this game, which is a sad story to say, but it's true, and you're just missing me. Let me get that another, oh, he wasn't up against the wall exactly the way I wanted it, and I missed. I hate short characters in all fighting games. Ah, you missed. You want to see if I can get it? If I could build my level 1, I could go ahead and sneak attack and hit them lightning through this little angle right here. That's what I'm hoping for. Uh, let's see, let's see. Come into my trap. Nobody wants to come into my trap. Let's see if I can get... Boom! Yes, sir! You got to be careful if you're playing against Sir Daniel. You got to watch out. Oh, you son of a hot rock. Biznatch. You hot rock. Mm. If you're playing against a Sir Daniel player, you gotta watch out for him, uh, for Sir Daniel standing underneath you. That's where he's his most dangerous. Ooh! I knew I was so mean, but you gotta take advantage of those opportunities. That should be it. That that was no what? Oh, I died. That hot rock killed me. But did you see? He was flying in there, and I zapped him. When you have Sir Daniel's level one in the bucket. In the pocket, you gotta just use it, cause you never know. And I'm at 89, so I'll, I, I'm getting closer and closer to my goal. Got a red belt and I got a brown belt. It's gonna be a good match. I gotta watch out for this parapola suit and tie rapper, level 99. So everyone's got. Oh man, this stage is so. Look at this. This stage is buggy. Ready, 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 ready. Come on, come on. Come on. Get it together. Doesn't matter, I want to go ahead and pick on this Emo Dante. Now, a lot of people are probably going to hate on me, but hey, if somebody else was going to do it. I'm going to go ahead and take advantage and build up my AP meter against a ghostless figure. Because that's what everyone's doing. Oh, and Evil Cole got two kills for free. And that's just a shame. That's cool. My dragon armor is going to go to work. I already got my level one. Going to watch out for Parappa the Rapper with his Tony Hawkins style. Probably gonna go for a skateboard. I'm yakking him up right here with my shield action. 
Mm. Woo. Always throw out that hand. It's a sneak attack. It's better to fight with Sir Dan Headless than to have his head. That's right. You can throw out that hand, the head, and it's going to go ahead and set you up for a lot of attacks, actually. And, you know, and it closes the gap. If you're... Give me the kill. Give me the cookies. That's one. Oh, man. Tips for your level two. Once you throw out your level two, you want to go ahead and help it. Assist it, so to speak. What I do is I throw out my battle axe. I try to get people in combos. A lot of people just um, try to catch people in the throw. And that's a great way to guarantee your level, to confirm your level two. When it was a lot slower, it was a lot easier to help it. Um, it stayed on the map a little bit longer and you could track it a little bit better. Oh, here goes Tony Hawk. I'm going to see if I can get him. Uh, yeah. Woo! Dodge that super. Hmm. Ah, yeah! Whew. I planned that. I planned that. Like I said in my previous episodes, you want to go ahead and use the other player to set up your moves. So if they're going to work and they pop them in the air, perfect opportunity to catch them with your level 1. If they confirm, uh, that's another way to do it. It's, it's kind of like um, um, using the, them as a level 2 partner that hates you. <laughs> a level 2 partner that could, get, that could still kill you. Um, that's the way I like to put it in co-op sense. So right now, I'm kind of scouting to see if Parappa the Rapper can get uh, Evil Cole in the air so I could... Oh, man. Man? Come on, man. So I could go ahead and hit them with level two uh, if they're both in the air and, and there, would be, there would be stuck in a combo, stuck in an animation like right here. Oh, if I only had it. It's too, too late. Too late. Hmm. I almost had it. I should have shot up my level one. I hesitated and I missed. Just like you. Oh, nice. Just like if you're head, if you're a sniper, and a first-person shooter, you hesitate. You're gonna miss the shot. So always just throw it out there. Get away. See it right there. That jumping quick battle axe. Great way to keep people off of you. Oh, 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 oh. See, he had it out for me. He had a vendetta. I don't blame him. I think that. When that that whiff level two hurt me this this game, that oh yep yep I knew it. Parappa suit and tie the rapper wins. Oh that would have put me over the edge right there. I hesitated. I deserved to lose. I'm still at nine three. Actually I'm getting closer to that purple belt, and I'm going against another purple belt. So this would be a perfect opportunity if I could get this victory to move up to that next level. That's pretty fast. Uh, not that many matches to get the purple belt. I did some research. For those of you who don't know, um, you may already know this, but I'm going to say this anyway. Uh, the way the belt system kind of works in a nutshell, best way to put it, you want to get first and second place. Place First and second place will guarantee you some points. Now, if you beat someone with a higher belt, um, and you say you get first and there's a lot of higher belts, you, the max you can get is like 13 points, which is crazy. And so that's where you want to be. Now, if you lose on the flip side, then you can lose 13 points. So... Oh, my battery running low. My battery running low. I should be all right. I should be all right. So what I was saying is, if you're facing a lot of low belts and you're a higher belt, don't get last. Get first or second so you won't uh, lose points. So pretty much during this whole quest for black belt, I'm going to try to keep Sir Daniel in that upper tier, second and first. Pretty much what separates you, um, I, I find, is that if you, for some reason, get picked on and you, oh man, you Tony Hawk, son of a gun. If you die a lot and you kind of you're going crazy and you're not being thoughtful, as someone said, thoughtful and strategic, then you're going to lose and you you deserve to be in that bottom tier. So um, sometimes I I do get kind of crazy and reckless with Sir Daniel. Uh, my focus does kind of drop, and and you know I, I die a lot because Sir Daniel is the easy target. Doesn't have foot speed. His moves leave him open for an attack. So I got to be very very smart with my super. Oh you, Isaac you. Plasma gun. Oh, oh, oh man! I thought it was out of that hitbox range. I should have did my air dodge. Air dodge would have got out of that. But I'm still getting used to Isaac. I'm still have to figure him out, or I'm trying to figure out how people play with him. From oh, it was risky, but I thought I could pull it off again. No, 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 no. Close. It was a risk that I took. I should not throw out that level two, knowing that Parappa the rapper had his level two. But you never know. Sometimes those those a lot of people actually 
fall asleep during their level two. Um, I'll, they just drop their defense completely and they kind of go in there head first. I don't know what I was doing there. What a whiff, whifferoo action. A lot of people drop their defense with their level two and so that leads them vulnerable to your level one kill. Um, especially Raidens. Uh, they kind of just go in headstrong with their katana and you could go ahead and just kill them with their level one. Oh, and Kratos got his level three. It's not looking good for Sir Daniel this match. Gonna use my dodge and skills. Gonna use my... Oh, that uppercut goes... Oh, man. It was so close. So close. Yet so far. Let's see if I can just get a respectable score. I'm trying to finish in that top two. Keeping everybody at bay. Uh, and I'm... Oh, that should have killed you, Parappa. That should have killed you. But he was just on the edge, and it's a no-no for Sir Daniel. Oh, and now I'm gonna get Tony Hawk. Or, ooh, and I get I get mined into the Tony Hawk. Wow. The first half of the match was going uh, really well for Sir Daniel, and uh, now I'm just getting sloppy. It's it's almost the equivalent of rage quitting, folks. It's. It's just getting killed. I've, I think I killed at least. Okay, maybe I can make something happen. I've had comebacks before where I just go crazy in overtime. Use my, my the, the, the boost of the AP build the two times that helped me. Oh, this Kratos. Kratos is going crazy. Kratos. And that's crazy with a K. Gonna build up my meter quickly. Hopefully, hopefully I could sneak in and force another overtime. Sometimes you got to be smart about that. Say there's a player that's just dominating and you just want it to get to overtime and this proper rapper is just... Woo! Give me the kill. Give me the cookies. Oh, you snuck away, you Parappa the rapper. As I was saying, um, sometimes you got to just try to force overtime. Uh, it's a harder skill to do because you got to keep track of everyone's kill and death count. But if someone's gonna win, try to you know help the other player out by uh, getting that player to death. And wow. Well, I, I I made a valid effort. Let's just say that in this overtime, except dying right there. Not bad. I finished the first game uh, of this match. I finished the first round kind of sloppy, and I made a respectable effort and got six and ten. If I would have just played a little bit smarter in the opening round, I would have probably be up there and was not a good match. And see, look at that. I dropped. I had, what was it, 90, 95 or 92, 92 points, and I dropped that many points. I don't understand why. That's the one thing, because um, I finished third, I fourth or third in that one. I don't remember, but you want to try to finish first or second. So uh, hopefully I learned my lesson, and I'm not as reckless. Sometimes during long playing sessions, you just get sloppy. That's all, you got to just walk away, play for an hour or so, put the game down, play something else, because this is my creed. It's... Like playing blackjack, you think you're you're doing so well, and you get confident, and but that's 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 where you gotta just take a step back and say, I need to take a break. Today's not my day. I learned that from a, a really good blackjack player. You you play a couple of hands. If you lose three in a row, just walk away. It's not your night. It's not your night. But I'm showing you guys the rawness. Give me some cookies. I got everybody in the air. Do I get cook? Yes, sir. Cook. Yeah, it's a good way to wash that bad taste of your mouth of finishing fourth or last in that last match. It's a good old-fashioned, old maid, Keebler elf cookies. I could have kept going, but I ran out of of cookie brands, delicious cookie brands. Uh. Oh, a good AP burst. To be honest, I really, I really don't know if I could do all that with uh, Emo Dante. I haven't picked that up. Oh no! Tony Hawk, Papa the Rapper. You know, I looked online for that orange beanie. Can't buy it anywhere. I would love to get that orange beanie. I, I would, I would rep that orange beanie everywhere. I would wear it to church. I would wear it, I would wear it to school. Actually, I'm not in school anymore. I graduated. Yay, college, graduated. Oh, you ruined my bread and butter action. Ah. Wow, there's a lot of AP just came out of nowhere during that grab special. Sir Daniel's grabs are terrible, by the way. That's why I don't use them a lot, if you're just wondering that. 
And I'm getting worked in this corner. I gotta stay away. Oh! So, too fast. Too fast and too furious. That flower, I... No bueno. If I would've dropped down below, now that would've been something special. But nope. But alas. I'm getting caught up in combos. Oh, Emo Dante. Go Super Emo Dante. Super Emo Dante. They need to... They gotta level the level threes. Sir Daniel... <laughs> no wonder he's low tier. I mean... There's a lot of odds stacked against them, but that's why I love them so much. The crappier a character you are, the more problems you have, the more in love I am with you. Let's see if I... Oh, another... Another Emo Dante. Super Emo Dante. I see that you're level 1,100 meter. Reminds me of those Dragon Ball Z episodes that take 10 episodes just to get to the fight. Where they're just talking back and forth, creating each other power levels. HP levels and all that kind of craziness. They could stretch a whole... One fight into a whole season in Dragon Ball Z. I still miss him. Great episodes. Let's see, everybody loves to get in these air. Parappa, Parappa, both Emo Dante. Let's see if I can do anything, any magic. Uh, ah, no shield. Oh, I could have got... I saw it. I could have got... Oh, man, I'm so mad at myself. Could have had a triple action. Parappa, Parappa had both of them in a combo. You want to keep an eye out for those animations, those combo animations. So you can just sneak up and poach. I like to drop down to that flower level that down below to see if I can get anything. Let's see if I can get it. Oh, give me the cookies. Ooh, that's a good way. Oh, no. Always have your guard up. The last five seconds. People are going to get that big. No. No, sir, Bob. But that's it for this episode of Sir Daniel's Quest for Black Belt. Thank you guys for checking it out. Please like and subscribe. Share it with your friends. Peace. See you in episode nine.